Hey guys, welcome back to Troops, your outdoor hoop shoe guru. <laughs> I'll try and welcome that. In case you don't already know, Troops brings you my reviews, tips, and experiences playing basketball outdoors in a variety of different shoes. I try and get you the best bang for your buck and introduce you to some models and brands you perhaps haven't heard much about. So if you haven't subscribed already, do so. In today's video, I'm going to give you my first look and initial impressions of these four shoes from the relatively unknown brand, at least around these parts, 361 degrees. I have these in for Muscan and these in for AJ. Shout out to those boys. And these two are in my size for myself. So I'll give you a performance review of these two sometime down the line. And hopefully we can hear from AJ and Muscan about these in future as well. So let's get into it. So first up, I have these. Quick note, I don't actually have model names for most of these shoes. Uh, I do have model numbers, which come on the shoe boxes. So if any of you happen to want a model number, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll send that to you. But it's hard to track down individual model names for these, um, especially because a lot of it's in Chinese. Let's take a look. This shoe comes in at 420 grams in my size US 11. Relatively light, feels pretty light in hand. Uh, it's got what looks like a fake leather upper. Um, should be nice and durable. Leather paneling all the way down the side. We've got funny little glitter pattern there. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, on this side, it says 361 degrees do crash. I'm not exactly what do crash is. It could be a cushioning system. Uh, could be a name for this upper, could be the model name. If I find out any more, I'll leave it down in the description below. We have this logo here, which looks like an S. Again, not sure what that is. Looks pretty cool. Uh, you've got a mesh tongue, which allows some ventilation, not a ton, but there is some there. Looks like conventional lacing system. It's a low top build, so you don't get anything above that level there. Nice thick padded tongue, so you won't get any pressure from the laces cutting into your foot. That's something that I like. On the side, we do have actually what looks like a cushioning label there that says unturn. Not exactly sure what that is. Um, got some padding around the heel. Should help with lockdown. That's always nice. Nice padded Achilles bit here right at the back heel as well. Got a pull tab. It's a small detail, but I always like those. As far as the traction pattern goes, looks pretty thick. Uh, we have 361 degree branding here and up at the top it says Rubest Tech. Not sure if you can make that out there but that could be Rubbest, Rubberest Tech. Probably a name for the type of traction compound I'm guessing. And here in the, in the heel we have Bumper MD. Not exactly sure what that means, but I'm sure I'll be able to tell you a little bit more once I've had the chance to wear these on the court for a while. Overall, I think aesthetically, that's really quite a nice shoe. Simple designs, it's got a bit of a 90s vibe to it. Black and white, can't go wrong with that color scheme really. Looking forward to playing in these. Next up, we saw these in an unboxing video. This is one of Jimmy Fredette's signature shoes. Again, no specific model name for these. Uh, I can provide a model number. If anyone is interested, let me know down in the comments below. But let's take a look at what this has to offer. We have sort of a half booty construction. First of all, you can see that that is kind of like a sock, but the tongue is partially split on one side. So that should allow easy access, but also a nice snug containment of the foot when you slip that foot in. We've got a midfoot strap right there should help with containment. Yeah, I like straps, they're an easy way to tighten up a shoe without having to fiddle around with the laces too much. Uh, this is 361 degrees hyper knit material. It does allow quite a lot of airflow, which is nice, especially if you're playing outdoors. 
Uh, not sure how durable that knit material will be, but they have included this fuse overlay on the toe there. Toes tend to be an especially high wear area on basketball shoes. You get a lot of dragging along the ground as you make cuts, go for layups, slide on defense, that sort of thing. So a fuse overlay there goes a long way towards helping prevent too much wear too soon. Uh, you've got nice sculpting on the heel inside, should help with lockdown. Again, pull tab here, pull tab here. I like pull tabs. On the side we have Oliga, which is marked on this plate. Uh, that plate should help with containing side to side movement. That's always nice. You've got that outrigger there, which helps with support when you land, helps stop the foot from rolling. Cushioning system is the same as the previous shoe, it looks like, with unturn. Can't really tell much just by squeezing, but this feels uh, pretty soft. So that's promising. Traction pattern, looks nice and thick. That rubber feels pretty durable, so I'm excited. And there is a torsional plate there for support, which they've branded Reg X, R-E-G-E-X. So these are a pretty light shoe. These are a US 8.5 and they weigh just under 390 grams. And they feel really light in hand too. So I'm sure that when you have these on, you'll feel pretty speedy. Very nice looking shoe, I have to say. So, there's that one. Next up, a Stefan Marbury signature. This is a pretty dope colorway. I love this sort of look. Uh, orange, blue, black, excellent combination. Let's take a look at the shoe itself. So we've got Blade there on the tongue. That could be a model name, I'm not sure. We also have 361 degrees, love is love on the side. That could be a model name, who knows? And we've got the Marbury logo, the Starbury logo there on the back. This is a signature of his from, I think four or five years ago. So these are a little bit older, which is one of the reasons I was able to get them for $22. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Taking a look at the upper, looks like sort of a fuse material is used for a lot of that with what's either a plastic or a synthetic leather overlay there to help with toe drags. Uh, we've got what looks like carbon fiber it probably isn't, it's probably a carbon fiber print on the side there. Presumably that adds a little bit of structural support. Heel pull tab on the back. Cushioning system looks interesting. This is labeled S A C Air, I think is what it says. But it basically looks like your standard Nike Air Max unit. It's probably a bit of a rip off, to be honest. Uh, cool thing about this one, as far as playing outdoors is, there is some traction pattern that wraps up around the sides there, which would help with preventing that bubble bursting too soon. That's something that happens quite a lot. When people take MX units outdoors, they pop, and then you lose the cushioning. Uh, not exactly sure what cushioning is in the forefoot, if any, but I'm guessing there's probably something like a Phylon, some kind of EVA injected all the way through. Uh, these are a little bit heavy in hand. Uh, these are about 450 grams in my size US 11, but that's not by any means a super heavy shoe. You've got a little bit of heel sculpting inside, which should help with lockdown. Tongue is pretty nice and thick, always a good thing. Standard lacing system. You've got a separate tongue, which personally I like. A lot of people like that new sock sort of thing with a booty but I prefer um, a separate tongue because it allows me to move the tongue around exactly where I want and it helps me get more of a feeling of containment, personally at least. As far as ventilation goes, that upper, because of the fuse material I mentioned, is not going to allow much heat or moisture at all through to the outside, but the tongue is a nice mesh material which would allow some ventilation at least. You've got quite a pronounced outrigger there, as you can see. Yep, also from there. So that should be good with preventing tipping upon landing. Yep. 
nice flat base as well, which is always good, being nice and stable. Traction pattern looks good and thick, even though this is not an outdoor specific shoe, like I've mentioned in previous videos, a lot of Chinese brands make their basketball shoes pretty durable because they know a lot of their Chinese customers play basketball outdoors. This traction pattern is labeled Tri-Grip, so presumably it's going to be quite grippy. I mean, every company promises excellent traction. Have to wait and see. Looks like there is a torsional support plate in the middle there, which should help with keeping that midfoot stable. And the traction pattern basically looks like a modified herringbone in the forefoot with a kind of checkered pattern in the heel area. So, there's that shoe. And last of all, we have these. Now, aesthetically, I reckon these are probably my favorite out of the bunch. That's got a nice 90s vibe. Again, no model name. Uh, it does say BMFA on the heel, which might be a little bit of a hint. Straight off the top, um, aesthetically, I think these are probably my favorite out of the bunch. These have got a nice um, 90s vibe with the black and white color blocking. It's got a little bit of a, maybe a Shaq Gnosis sort of feel. Oh, the Reebok Kamikaze, it reminds me of those a little bit. Let's take a look at the shoe itself. It's uh, sort of a mid-cut. Feels really nicely sculpted inside. There's quite a lot of heel padding. Um, there's even a little heel pillow there, which uh, wraps around your Achilles. That's nice. Uh, nice thick tongue. So that'll help prevent any um, lace pressure cutting into your foot. It's either a synthetic or real leather. I can't tell for sure. Pretty much all the way around. Um, you've got a little bit of material here, just around the heel, but everything below that is a mix of leathers. So it feels like a synthetic suede there, and then synthetic leather, leather all the way around here. Uh, you've got a mesh tongue, which doesn't feel like it lets much air or moisture through at all. So ventilation probably won't be a strong point of this shoe but with all that leather, you should get pretty good support um, from the upper, at least. Rubest Tech, marked out on the heel there. Traction pattern looks incredibly thick. I'm not sure if you can see there, but that traction is really widely spaced, which is great for playing outdoors because it lets stones, twigs, debris fall out from between the traction pattern. And it's also really deep. So that means you're going to get a lot of wear. The deeper the traction pattern, provided the rubber is nice and thick and not too soft, the deeper the pattern, the longer that it'll take for it to wear smooth. Looks like you've got two types of traction pattern in the forefoot and in the heel. Uh, the black pattern looks to be more tightly spaced, whereas here the traction pattern is spaced further apart from each other and the same in the heel. Uh, not exactly sure why, that sort of thing really requires actual wearing and playing in the shoe to have a better idea. But I'm guessing it might be because this is where you tend to pivot more. This is where you exert more pressure through your foot as you pivot. Um, nice outrigger there on the side, which like I've mentioned, should help with limiting how much your foot rolls if you have a bad landing and the base is nice and flat as well, which across the four shoes that I've looked at today seems to be something 361 degree shoes have in common. A uh, nice flat base is generally a great thing because it makes your foot nice and stable every time you land or push off. So, there's that shoe. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting taking a look at these four models from 361 degrees. I know I myself love seeing new models, new brands, new shoes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it too. If you did like it, let me know down in the comment section below because I'm planning to do a video soon on XTEP, another China brand, which has just signed Jeremy Lin, 
and has a whole bunch of new shoes, all of which look really cool. So I'd love to do a video on that. Let me know if that's something you'd be keen on as well. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.